Today we are building a overhead rig extension. What's up everyone? So I've been filming a few things overhead with my tripod on a weird angle with one side fully extended, uh, but it's less than optimal. Uh, it's a little shaky and tippy to the camera weight. So you don't really want to have your expensive camera equipment dangling from this kind of setup. Um, so there's a few options out there such as the Cinevic Grip Reacher, uh, but I thought I could make something similar on a budget with uh, one trip to the hardware store. So all right, let's get started. For this build, you'll need one three quarter inch by four feet aluminum square tubing, one three eight by four inches long dowel screw or double ended screw, one three eight by three quarter inch long bolt, three three eight nuts, one one quarter twenty by one inch bolt, two one quarter twenty nuts, and epoxy glue. First, take the square tubing and drill a three eight hole two thirds down the length of the square tubing. Then drill a one quarter hole at the end of the square tubing. This hole should be at the short end or at the end closest to the 3 8 hole. In my case, I drilled on both sides so I could use a longer screw or a hook in the future. If you are only drilling one, make sure the one quarter hole is at the top of the tubing and the 3 8 hole is at the bottom. Then mix up some epoxy, place one 3 8 knot in the tubing, push it down until it reaches the center hole and apply generously epoxy around the knot. Keep in mind the nut fits snugly in the tubing already, so the epoxy is just there to keep it in place, as the screwing torsional force will be applied metal on metal. Then screwing your 3 8 screw to hold everything in place while the epoxy dries. One tip is you can wrap the bolt in plastic wrap, that way if some epoxy spilled on the tread, it will be pushed over and the bolt will be easier to be removed after the epoxy cure. In my case, I left the bolt there for about 30 minutes before removing it and it was there good so I had to take a wrench and apply some force to take it out. Then we will move to the tip. Take the double-ended bolt screw and thread the two remaining nuts. Then take a ball head, screw it in completely to give you a reference point. Place one nut against the ball head to mark its position. Then you can back up the nut a little bit just to give you some wiggle room. Mix another generously amount of epoxy and coat the bolt completely and fill the inside of the tubing with it. Push the bolt inside the tubing and add epoxy along the way. The nuts will hold the entire assembly in the middle of the tubing so it's centered. If you have any concern about the epoxy being not strong enough, keep in mind that once fuel cure, if mixed correctly, epoxy should hold about 3600 pounds of tensile strength, so that's plenty enough. And lastly, thread the bolt at the end so it creates a hook for the counterbalance. In my case, I have used a rounded flange bolt so it would not snag or cut anything. All right, there you have it, your very own overhead extension rig for your tripod. Uh, this is really sturdy, especially for the price. Everything has cured for a couple of days now, so it's not moving, it's not going anywhere. And uh, I have here uh, mounted a normal photo uh, ball head with my Nikon 6 um, D610, which is about three pounds with the lens and, uh, well, roughly, uh, and it's not going anywhere. It's really sturdy. The ball head gives me uh, plenty of uh, range of motion, so I can adjust it uh, the way I want. As for the counterweight, I just use a traveling uh, camera bag that I have laying around. Uh, there's only a few lens in there and a cleaning kit and that's it. plenty of weight to just do the counterweight. All right, so there you have it. If you have any comment, just leave them in the comment box below. Please follow us on Facebook, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.